Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following question. Find the coordinates of the point x for which then we have a formula here, or a kind of it's an equation. The directed line segment a to x is equal to 2, then multiply another directed line segment. So that's what we're going to be using. So a to x, the directed line segment of that is equivalent to 2, then 2 multiply another directed line segment. And 2 here is a scalar, meaning it's being multiplied to this vector right there. So the question wants to know what this vector is right here, this particular vector in this directed line segment, the x vector. So the first step we're going to be taking here is opening up the directed line segment. How do we even calculate the directed line segment? We take the vector x and we subtract it by the vector a. That's what they did to actually get this directed line segment in the first place, right? So the vector of x subtract the vector of a gives us this, so that means it must be also equivalent. So we have this here is equal to, then we do the same thing to the right hand side. It's going to be b subtract a. That's how they got this directed line segment. Therefore, it's the same thing. So now we've opened it up a bit more, and now we're a bit more ready to actually find or isolate the x vector. So the next thing we're going to be doing is adding a to both sides so we can get x alone. So doing that, we have 2, then b subtract a still, but on the end, now we have add a. And this is the formula we're going to be using to actually solve the question. It's just a matter of inputting the data now. So let's put the 2 here, bracket, then we have the vector b being subtracted by the vector a. And these two, th these two vectors, their corresponding components are up here, just for reference. b subtract a. So the first component then is going to be 1 subtract 2, the 2 came from the a, then we are going to have negative 2, subtract 1, comma, then we have 4, subtract negative 5, so put a bracket there, negative 5, and this here, at the end, we're going to be doing add the a vector, so let's also put that in, another bracket, going to be 2, 1, and a, negative 5. So now let's simplify this, 1 subtract 2 is just going to be negative 1, comma, this is negative 3, over here, the negatives multiply each other, makes a positive, so it's going to be 4, add 5, that's 9, comma, or uh, brackets, then put the 2 out here, and of course, we still have that over there. Now let's erase this formula down here because we're already making use of it. We've already input, input all the data. So multiplying the scalar of 2 throughout this vector here, we're going to get negative 2, comma, negative 6, and 18. Now we want to add these two vectors. So if we added them, we have the negative 2 and the positive 2, that gives us a 0, comma, then we have negative 6 and a 1, that's negative 5, and we have 18 and negative 5, that's going to give us a positive 13. And this here is going to be the vector of x. So we effectively solved the problem. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.